Ink. <laughs> I would like to play first, yes. Oh, we're playing this deck. Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep. We should be good enough against Blackfish, I guess. I mean, if this resolves against Blackfish and they don't play days, it slides out. Kind of. Sapphire. Can't even play Bob, lol lol lol. So four people were betting on me. You can have faith on me. Ank! So lucky! Oh, I guess we telegraphed that we don't have missed up then. <laughs> right, I hope he doesn't have Wasteland here. Please play any kind of land, just don't let it be Wasteland. By the way, he should get punished real hard for playing Khan's Polluted Deltas. Okay, so I'll just do one top. I mean, I would, I, I would love to play Nara, but it's just true name nemesis, you know. I guess he goes to abrupt decay this one here. That's why I'm not playing the true name pre combat. Because then he knows that, that he really should just abrupt decay this one. I guess he abrupt decays that one, anyways. But we still have the Fluster Store! Oh my god. You know, this could be part of my worst place ever. Instead of playing our insane true name nemesis, we would play... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have to do it like this. I would play, like, Flusterstorm, and it would be super bad. Upkeep chop, I like that. Also, if we draw a Wasteland here, I will actually play Nairod in Wasteland and then protect Nairod with Flusterstorm. Uh, or maybe not. Please play. Yes! Dark Country. I mean, he has top, so that helps. Please don't draw a Wasteland so I don't have to make a decision. <laughs> okay, I will take more care. The Luch, no, not in Bugfish, I guess, but, I mean, we could, yeah, we, I guess we have Flusterstorm, unless he draws another card. I try to watch out for it, but it's not like, if any, real way of playing around that. Okay, see, that was very careful, wasn't it? Back control, yeah. Oh, okay, so he got to shuffle in the upkeep. Oh, wait, I could. Might have messed up that, I guess. Because now, if he reveals the Luch, that's actually still okay. He reveals Wasteland. Well, we have no plans for the K1 anymore. Yeah, I guess I could mess up that. But. I think this is what we're using to kill him. Anyways. Lol lol lol. I think it's better to do it like this. Yeah, I, I never really liked Vamp to begin with. Like, the entire deck is constructed in a way that you don't really need or want Vampiric in most of the fair matches. And yes, it's great in the unfair match. Like, it's not great, but it's pretty good. It's like a 8 out of 10 in, 
the very dedicated unfair matches. And you have like huge bombs, but... No. Yeah. I talked to Bonda about this like a lot, and he said that the card that he cites out the most is actually uh, Demonic Tutor instead of Empiric. I found that interesting. Like He came to me, we were playing both the same list, and he was like, Julian, which is the card that you cite out the most? And I'm like, I think it's the same card that you cite out the most. And he says Tutor, and I say, yes, Tutor. And then we find out that he means Diabolic Tutor, and I uh, Demonic Tutor, and, and I mean Empiric Tutor. <laughs> All right. Obviously, we're not playing Diabolic Tutor. <laughs> he didn't do the top trick of activate and then trick and put a third from the top or something. Well, I guess it won't matter. Engine play comes in after sideboard. I guess it could. Honestly, True Room is pretty stupid. Maybe I should really build this deck in real life. But I don't really have a lot of time until Rome. The game has ended. Yoshi falls down, oh my god. <laughs> Poor Yoshi. He lost his face and his color and everything. But he still got his spikes, like his dinosaur spikes. If he wants to kill somebody, he's just gonna spike them. He's like a Stegosaurus. I recently read that Stegosaurus never... No. Stegosaurus existed, but he, he was wasn't living anywhere close to the time the Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, left. <laughs> lifted. <laughs> Lift. <laughs> ah, small arms. Left, left, left. And so whenever you see a picture of a Stegosaurus and he's using his tail his, with the spikes and he's fighting the Tyr Tyrannosaurus Rex, that's just science fiction. So that's That never happened. That makes me really sad because all of my childhood dreams and, and the way I imagined the dinosaurs living, that that's just fake. So, I don't know. We live closer to the time of Rex than Rex did to the time of Stego. Take that. That's just sad. Well, I sideboard out Vampiric against all of the fair decks, pretty much. Uh, I wouldn't exactly know when you would side out Demonic. Like, I, I would imagine Demonic being pretty good against the uh, control decks, but. We don't really have control in Vintage, but that's a different discussion. Fuck, what, what was our opponent playing? Bugfish, right? Okay, uh, what's good against Bugfish? So, true. Nairo is definitely not good against them. I guess I wouldn't hate this members, but it's also not like what we want to do. Like, they're pretty bad against anything we do. So, you think they might actually have. Huh. They might actually have engineered plagues, I don't think so. There's nothing I want. I mean you could sideboard on Nile, that's but that's super super narrow. So maybe just another fluster storm. And then keep one Nyrod. You really want this member? I don't know, so we could take out Flash some this member. I don't even want to fight. Actually, I do want to fight with that confidence. So we could take out Flash some at the Nyrod. Actually, I like that. No, we don't have any of those, which is okay. Yeah, and we still have the one Nyrod. Ah, okay. Maybe we actually don't want Treasure Cruise. But I think it's still too good not to have it. Okay, I will totally keep this on the draw. Unfortunately, it doesn't have like like turn two, true name, but it still has like turn one curse catcher, probably turn two lord, and oh, well, maybe turn three nemesis, and it has force for whatever he does. The trap hand, kind of, yeah. <laughs> I think you should totally go for traps if they are worth it. Lotus off the top would be insane. Lotus off the top, you would play like K1 into this guy, and then Lotus out the true name, and he would need three force of plus pitch to fight it, and he can't even have that. 
Merfolk. Not mercenary, not methodron. Oh, I, I remember those guys. Those were in Ursa's destiny and they were unblockable. Methodron. Methodron? Whatever. The German called them Metatron. Elite. He's not wasteland. Actually, if we waste, we get wasteland here. That's devastating. He could have mindbreak trap, yeah. I've heard of people actually mindbreak trapping Thrun. And when I was playing the 12th post mirror, all my mindbreak traps came in, and his didn't. And then so I was able to, to mindbreak trap his Unrakul. And that was game over for him. Tarmogolf. I'd rather not fight the golf because I don't really care about it. You can attack now. Huh. Yeah, roar, get in there. Land. Fuck this shit. You're so unlucky. <laughs> okay. In my head, I'm already in the third game. Like, we can maybe luck out here and get there, but... I guess we're still in okay shape if we draw land, because then we go like, Lord, Lord, Lord. While he attacks us with squires. That's not a land. Goyf is so random. Oh, he goes for end of turn. Something. Repeal? A Didion click. Huh. At this point, I think it's better to do it like this. Just realized a turn earlier we could have double blocked the Goyf. <laughs> but that's just super risky if he goes to abruptly can we die. Meh. Another one of those. Come on, land. Now we need the land. Lotus. 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 Don't be Nilrod. Land. Okay. Should we actually. We could copy the Goyf and then block forever. That's a probably not good. Okay. So if we play the Lord, we attack for 4, he goes to 14, then we take 6, we go to 8. Then we go to 6 of the death right. Mm. Yeah, I still think that I want this. You probably have to. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay, GG! <laughs> <laughs> the Sierra Mana one sided Wrath of God. Talk about blowouts. Oh fuck, I did not curse catcher that. I did not curse catcher that. Mm. Oh, he could have paid. I'm stupid. Okay, no, I don't really see us winning anymore. Actually, so we take 6, we go down to 8, and then end of turn we go to uh, 6, and then let's say you play this. Yeah, I guess then you still die. Well, uh, actually, time work would have been pretty good. Hmm. Golf, so he's playing a real fair game, I guess. Hey, Sean, it's older. Yeah, but if we throw two curse catcher, I mean, I also blanked on the, on the move in the first place. But if you throw two curse catchers on that, we we totally lose. Anyways, but you're right, we could have done that. I really like being on the play against them, that should help out a lot. Do we want the Fluster Storms against the Blowout card? I guess I'd rather have the Fluster Storm than the Nile Rod. Because he probably he sided in all four Snuff I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, come on, Mox Sapphire. Try and run true name. Whoa! Whoa! Five mana! One, two, three, four, five! <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna play the Curse Catcher so we can protect the Lotus. That seems pretty fishy. I hope it runs. We even get to strip mine on the next turn. I mean, we're all in on all of our Morphog, but we're all in on the first turn. <laughs> and yes, I know I have to play the Silver Gear before the Master. Okay. Blue. Wonder if they forces this. No, because then we can't catch her. The casual turn one seven power. <laughs> if he goes for like land go, oh my god. This could be land go. Death right. Wow, well, it's even Oh no wait, if we if we wasted this we don't have island walk anymore. I guess it doesn't matter because all of his so I'm still gonna waste uh, strip mine it. <laughs> okay, let's draw another Merfolk. Efficiency. <laughs> I like that name. At least the first four or five times you would say it, and then I would be like, come on. That's stupid. Oh, so like, mismatched underground seas. <laughs> Three mana. By the way, how can how can th this music like this song? People know about the song, right? I w I'm listening to a free music radio, so my my VODs won't get muted. But this song, like this song, people know about that song. That's surely not free. Come on, yes. Oh, what's this gonna be? No, that that can't be decay. Oh, click! It's click. Click is fine. Take away one of our guys, we'll draw another one. Easy peasy. We'll draw, actually, we will draw True Name Nemesis. It's been confirmed. Nah. He's so lucky. Just take five. Empiric. Okay, I'm, I'm actually gonna counter that. Do I pay life? So it's, let's say he has Fluster Storm. He can still pay. Bob, Bobsy, you haven't played Vintage like in in over a year, I guess. Like Vintage is super dominated by creatures these days. But you're welcome to tune in again. Like, I, I love Vintage. Like, I'm really enjoying this. Like, my schedule says that I will play Vintage each Friday if our Voltage can lend us the cards. And maybe I'm even gonna play some more Vintage. That's pretty cool. I'm also curious what his out was. Like, last time he went for... Like, when he was behind on board, he went for Wasteland, the Cavern, which is, like, totally fine for me. He even lost to life for that. Did he do anything? He just cast Mox Pearl and passed. Okay. Come on, true name. Man, our start was insane. Like, there are even better starts, but 5 mana on the first turn and drawing a card of this. Okay, so I would think that he has a prep decay here. So he would have prep decay this and then block this on this and then this on this.
Ah, I hate this now. I'm, actually, he might have a period tutored for a prop decay because it's such a huge blowout. So what we, what would you guys do here? Survivor. What would you guys do here? Like, if he has a prop decay, we get the ultimate blowout. But sitting back seems like it makes it even more likely for him to draw a prop decay. You could also just attack with the Silver Gale, or the Curse Catcher. Yeah, I considered only attacking with the Silver Gale or Curse Catcher and see what happens. He's also not gaining life. I guess I'm gonna attack with the Silver Gale and see what happens. Oh, did he have 6? Oh no, he, he didn't have 6, he just didn't have a stop in my beginning of combat. If I send all, I'm gonna lose all. Stun Sniper, exactly. That's why we are attacking with only one creature here. It also helps us that he doesn't. So that he can't use Death Right for. He didn't even use Death Right for this. I guess that's because he would lose a life. Two psionic blasts. Let's draw the blasts. So, since he didn't have a prop decay last turn, I'm just gonna go for it. Fuck, he has it. Actually, why would he fetch here? He could also use the death right. Oh, he wants. Oh, he wants to use the death right to block. Ah. So much for our YOLO plan. No? Snuff out? Okay, that's. Un Actually, that's not interesting. <laughs> um, I mean, if we. If we curse catch on this. He taps the Shaman, then this trades for this. If he don't Curse Catcher, this trades for this and just, just kills this. <sighs> that sucks. I guess by sacrificing the Curse Catcher, at least we make him eat one more land out of his graveyard. Snap outs are really annoying. I hope he doesn't have like snap. Actually, he can't snap Castle this next turn. <laughs> the thing is, once we draw true name, we're pretty safe, I guess. Not true name. I don't think that would be fine. Like it would still have been better had we just attacked the the, the, the server girl. But he kind of telegraphed that he doesn't have removal, and then he. <sighs> well, he could die to this. On the other hand, he's gonna get like he's gonna gain eight life. We can attack his green mana, but he still has green mana. Attacking his black mana doesn't seem like very good. Oh, for YOLO. Yeah, but he gains two life a turn, so that's okay. I'd rather attack his green mana because then he uses Mox Emerald for Deathrite and doesn't get to play like Charmogoy for something. Flip another snuff out. I would assume. Actually, he probably didn't side off at Force. Actually, he did. I don't know. The thing is, he really needs to, to catch up tempo wise. Whoa! No! Can we beat that? Creatures and Charmed player controls get minus one, minus one. I guess we can beat that with Lords.
Horus Dark Confident, yeah. Be good. Come on, Lord. Dismember. <laughs> Have fun with your Dark Confident. <laughs> force of Will it. Come on, do it. Force of Will this. I want you to Force of Will now. Oh god, misdirection. Oh my god. Misdirection on the Dark Confident. That would be it. That would be the play. <laughs> well, that's our win condition. Now he needs a curse for his own creatures. <laughs> or at least never play a Bob again, I guess. Okay. F6. <gasps> so lucky. Okay, here comes our dude. Bobsy, you really should watch more Vintage. Vintage is insanely fair. Like, until the printing of, of Treasure Cruise and, well, one is, like, Monastery Mentor is the, one of the centerpiece creatures of Vintage, honestly. And before that arrived, like, Deathrite Shaman plus Abrupt Decay, like Bugfish. That was the deck that you played in Vintage. That was the best deck. You really should borrow Vintage. It's much fairer than you think. The, the, the same was true for me, like, years ago, when I thought that, that that's how Vintage works. But no, it's it's incredibly fair. At least, let's say, much fairer than you would think it is. Oh, DK. No! Where are... So now we're in trouble. He had the decay. Why does he have so many cards in hand? Oh fuck, we are losing now. Ugh, fuck this. <sighs> we can't deal with this. And we only have like six lords left in the deck. So, we've got six lords. Well. Fantasma image. Well, only if he plays something. Yeah, those decks are cool. But they're only cool for like a couple of games and then you grow tired of them because they're pretty linear. I mean, I'm not gonna say that Doomsday is linear because it involves some interesting plays. But that's not all, like what Witch is all about. Not solely all about. Cruise would be okay, I guess. Yeah, but Dredge really isn't very good. Like, Dredge and Vintage is... Not exciting. So the interesting thing about Time Walk is we could play a Lord and then Time Walk on the same turn while Snapcaster is tapped. I think that's better. Okay, so let's try um, Uncounterable Master and then you could also cast like True Name for for Storm, but we don't have enough mana. <laughs> DK. Yeah, I, I guess she would have DK. At least the Time Walk resolves now. Time walk before Lord. Oh my god, the masterful play! But I guess in this case it wouldn't have mattered, but yeah, that's actually true. Like he's. It's much more likely that he will just say, yeah, okay, time walk, you're gonna, just gonna cycle it. Okay, now that's interesting because he thinks, what if he has another Lord? Man, that curse. 
Five mana. Had I known about this, I would have kept. I would have actually annulled, like an kept annulled in. <laughs> oh, deck is mocking us. <laughs> to freak him out. I and I missed out on a, on a chance to troll him. Oh fuck this guy. This guy is gonna help him recover because now we can't really beat him anymore. I don't think he's ghosting. Why would he? Like, would you ever counter the time walk? You surely wouldn't. I mean, the only reason to, to attack the time walk is because he has Flusterstorm and Flusterstorm doesn't fight our creatures. He abruptly decayed the Bob. He, he had one blind flip when it wasn't one, and he blind flipped a fetch land. And now we are dead. Oh man. I thought we should have won this one. That curse. That curse is really good. Thank you.